Hello friends, in this video we will see some tricks to solve the syllogism related problem. And the first trick is all plus all is equal to all. So this is the first trick. Now we will see how we can use this trick in syllogisms. So let us consider two syllogisms are given. Okay. So the given two syllogisms are all boys are intelligent all boys are intelligent and the second syllogism given is all intelligent are all intelligent are girls all intelligent are girls okay if you see these two syllogisms actually both are starting with all both are starting with all okay and here the subject is boys and the predicate is intelligence and in the second syllogism the subject is intelligence and the predicate is girls okay <coughs> so the first syllogism starts with all <coughs> the first syllogism starts with all and the second syllogism is also starts with all so that is this one Okay, so then all plus all, that means the conclusion we derive from these two syllogisms is also starts with all. So that is what all about, all plus all is equal to all. Okay, so the conclusion derived from these two syllogisms is going to be starts with all, according to the all plus all is equal to all trick or rule. Okay, so now if you observe here the subject is boys and the predicate is intelligent. Here the subject is intelligence and the predicate is girls. So if you observe these two syllogisms, here the predicate in the first syllogism is the subject of the second syllogism. So you cancel these two. You cancel these two. So both are started with all or. So that's why we took all here. So after cancelling the intelligent and intelligent from both the syllogisms, now we take the subject from the first syllogism that is what boys all boys are and we take the predicate from the second syllogism that is girls so all boys are girls so this is the conclusion we derive from these two syllogisms okay so that is what all about all plus all is equal to all rule when both the syllogisms are starting with all so the conclusion is also going to be start with all if the predicate of the first syllogism equal to the subject of the second syllogism. We cancel both of them and we take the subject from the first syllogism and we take the predicate from the second syllogism. Okay. So now let's see one example based on this logic. Let us consider two syllogisms are given as all books are all books are pens. All books are pens. And the second syllogism given is all pens are all pens are pencils. All pens are pencils. And two conclusions are given. And the first conclusion is all books are all books are pencils. And the second conclusion given is all pencils are all pencils are books okay and the options given is a b c d and e okay so we have to give the option a when only conclusion 1 is true and we have to select option b only the conclusion 2 is and we have to select the conclusion 3 if 1 is true or 2 is true. This one or this one. Okay. So either conclusion 1 is true, either conclusion 2 is true. Okay. And B, B, nor, neither conclusion 1, I mean neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2. That means actually. Both are not true. 
that case we have to select D. If both are true, one conclusion one and conclusion two are true, so then we have to select the E. So now we will see. So the given two from given two syllogisms, we can derive using all plus all is equal to all rule. Here the first syllogism also starting with all, second syllogism also starting with all. So the conclusion is going to be start with all. And here the predicate of the first syllogism equal to the subject of the second syllogism. So that's why we can cancel both. Now we take the subject from the first syllogism. That is what books all. R, and then we take predicate from the second syllogism. That is pencils. That is pencils. So all books are pencils. So the given conclusion, all books are pencils are there. So that means conclusion one is true. Conclusion one is true. So conclusion one is true. So now we have to check that conclusion given conclusion two is true or not. Okay. Conclusion one is true. That is actually uh, we informed using all plus all equal to all true. So now we have to check this conclusion two is true. Okay. So it is given all books are pens. If all books are pens, that means some pens are books. Okay. In reverse case. Okay. All books are pens. So that means some pens are books. Okay. So that we can write right. So some pens are that we can conclude. Okay. Some pens are. Books. All are pens. All pens are pencils. So that means pens means some pencils are pens. So from these two, if you observe these two, some pencils are pens and some pens are books. So that means we can conclude some. Pencils are books. Okay, some pencils are pens and some pens are books. So that means we can conclude these two. Some pencils are books. Some pencils are books. But here it is given all pencils are books. So the conclusion is so. From the only the conclusion. So that. to select the a so i hope you got this one thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will see more problems based on all rules okay. please subscribe my channel